when you finish developing a camel route, you're going to start thinking about how you're going to be able to test it. Now, within camel, uh, mock endpoints are probably going to be the prime way you're going to do this. They help you make all sorts of assertions and checks on your routes to make sure that the messages that you're receiving are as you expect. But adding mock endpoints actually involves making a change to the route itself, and that might involve making a change to the code, you might think, or actually maybe it won't, because there is actually some tooling that we can use within Camel to change our endpoints and use mock endpoints without having to make a single code change to the root itself. So I've defined a simple root uh, in a root builder class here. This root, this Camel root, consumes from a direct endpoint. It changes the message body to the string goodbye. And then finally, using the file component, it writes this out to an output location, a directory called output on the file system. As this is a Spring Boot application, I can show you the main class. Here's my annotated Spring Boot uh, main class. This has got a Spring Boot application annotation, and this is where my app gets run. So if I want to start adding a test to this, then the first thing I probably need to do is make a change to my Maven POM and add in some of Camel's Spring test support. So if I add in the following dependency, org.apache.camel, and it's Camel test Spring is the one that you need. And this includes all sorts of helpers and APIs that help make it much easier to test Camel routes when they're running inside Spring or Spring Boot applications. Start by creating a test class. Now I've already created a shell test class here, which has nothing in it at the moment. I start by adding the Spring Boot test annotation to the test class. Then I add the run with camel spring boot runner dot class. And this basically tells us that we're going to be running this test class uh, using camel's support for running tests with Spring Boot. Uh, and then the final thing I'm going to want to add here is a mock endpoints annotation. Now, this is where we can tell Camel which endpoints in our route we want it to create mock endpoints for automatically. So if I give my output endpoint here, which is the one you've just seen, so this basically says when the class starts, it's going to create a mock endpoint for this particular file endpoint. This means that we can easily add some assertions onto this. So inside the class, the next thing I'm going to do is create a field to hold my mock endpoint. And I'm going to annotate this with endpoint inject, which basically tells Camel that when the uh, root starts, it needs to inject my mock endpoint. And the name, the URI of the mock endpoint is going to be mock file output. And the reason for that is that my original endpoint is called file output. And when I mock it, the resulting URI is going to be mock file output. OK, this will inject our mock endpoint object so that we can use the methods on it to add our assertions. Uh, the next thing we do is create a producer template object. And we add auto wide to that. Now, this producer template object um, is the object that we need to be able to send messages to Camel endpoints, uh, either inside tests or outside tests. Um, and since we're using auto wired, this means it's going to get injected by Spring when the test starts. And now we implement our test case. I'm going to call this test method. The first thing we need to do is we need to set up our assertion on our mock endpoint. So I'm going to take my mock endpoint object, which I have, have injected. And I'm going to assert that I'm going to receive a specific string, and that's going to be expected bodies received goodbye, because we know that our camera root changes the body of the message to goodbye. Then we use our producer template object to send a message to an endpoint as a way of initiating the test. We do that using send body to our direct endpoint, and I'm going to send a null message. And then finally, we need to check that the mock endpoint is satisfied. So we do that using this method here, assert is satisfied. And I'm getting a warning that I need to surround my method with, uh, which to add an exception to my method signature. And actually, our test is now ready to be run. So I'm going to run the test. And what should happen now is we will send a message to the direct endpoint. The mock should receive the string goodbye. And then we should make sure that our route operates as we expect. There you have it. Test case is passed. 
we've managed to replace uh, an endpoint with a mock endpoint solely for the purposes of a test without having to make any change to your code.